Good evening, little gothlings. Welcome to the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Today I went to San Francisco and what I'd like to do is review some shops that I went to while I was there. So, the first thing that I did when I got off at Civic Center BART, rather than Powell Street, because the Powell and Montgomery elevators were both out of order, this is a very bad thing. This is where most people get off. So I had to um, take this electric scooter uh, down the street for six blocks, um, <laughs> which of course runs down the battery, and this is not exactly a wonderful thing. So that was a little irritating, but once I um, did my little preliminaries, I was... Um, happy enough, I suppose. The first thing that I did was I picked up a packet of my favorite cigarettes. These are Nat Sherman Black and Gold. You can see... There you go. Right there. Black and Gold. These are whoop, the world's most elegant cigarettes. And they smell so good. Oh, they're very long and thin and lovely, and I highly recommend them to anyone who's interested in not inhaling. I don't inhale. Okay, so. <laughs> um, all right, so that was the, uh, that was at a little, um, Tobacconists on the way to uh, the San Francisco Center. Uh, they were the second tobacconist on the right hand side if you're facing Embarcadero, and they were a discount tobacconist, um, small shop, and I could get in with the wheelchair. I did not catch the name, I apologize. Um, and the name is not on the Three matches that they gave me, unfortunately, so tisk tisk. Well, I went to San Francisco to go to several different places, and the first of those was one of my favorites, and that has to be Claire's Accessories. Mm, yes, love Claire's. Claire's is uh, just a great resource, I think, for you know, really inexpensive jewelry, and sometimes um, it's actually quite good. And I find that it lasts for quite a while, so I'm quite happy with it. I've now said quite way too many times, but um, I like going there. I saw a few things the last time I was in the city, and I didn't have the money to get them, so I went back in order to see if they still had them, and lo and behold, they did. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is these lovely earrings. Aren't those great? Which were, I believe, $9.50. And then, uh, as far as earrings go, you buy two and get one pair for free. So I got um, this little assortment of little flowers and studs and I bought them for my nostril actually. Uh, they do have kind of long posts for the nostril. I may cut them down if I can figure out how to do that safely. Um, and this packet was twelve fifty, but um, for me quite worth it. Since there's two of every one of them, if any of the little grindstones fall out of one, then I have a spare. Um, and they're really, really pretty, and I really love the way that they look on. I've always wanted like little flower instead of just a ring or a little, you know, bauble. And my free pair were these, which I think were. 650 or 750 maybe but these will be nice I don't really wear hoops much but the crosses got me 
I also got this skull bracelet. See, it's black skulls, which how could you get better than that, really? And it's got a, a real shrunken head feel in my mind because of the cord and, you know, these black skulls. It just looks very jungly, like Voodoo Billy, that we, what we used to call Voodoo Billy. Um, kind of the cramps and, I don't know, bands like that. There aren't a lot of bands like that, honestly. Um, gun club, I suppose, maybe uh, Voodoo Church. And then also, this new favorite, this one. Uh, this was, whoops, this was six, and this was rather expensive at 1650, but I love it so much that I decided to get it. Spent quite a bit there, actually more than I was intending. Um, I sort of wanted to save my money for one of the stores I went to later, but then the, I think the last thing yeah, was this necklace, which I love. I mean, it's a black butterfly. I mean, how wonderfully gothic. And I just love, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, so that was in the San Francisco Center, and that was pretty much the only reason I went there, so I got back onto the street to take a bus for only the second time in my life to go up to the Haight, and it's um, 75 cents to ride if you're disabled, which is great, and you get a... Um, a uh, transfer that's good for about 90 minutes so if you don't take too long doing what you're doing you can get back without having to pay again sometimes they don't ask you for the money when you get in they get distracted by letting you in and things but um, generally you want to of course pay the driver so I went up to the Haight-Ashbury um, in order to go to a particular store where you'll which, if you haven't figured out where I was going, you know, <laughs> what can what can I say about you? But um, it'll be very readily apparent quite soon. <laughs> okay, so um, before I, I got to to that particular place, though, I went into um, this place, which is I think my new favorite store. Oh my God. I wish I had taken some pictures or some video to show you. I'm really sorry that I didn't. Um, I'm still a little bit shy about doing that in public, but um, maybe I'll get over it. You never know. Uh, and the other place that I was going doesn't allow any of that, so... Me. So, um, what can I say? The clothes are adorable. They are really retro and, and just really cute. They're a little bit on, in my mind, up on the pricey side, but they go up to something like 2XXL or 4XXL or something like that, which means they, they make them for big gals, you know? And I weigh, I weigh, I weigh, mm. I wear, I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh, no way. <laughs> I wear a size 8 now that should give you an idea of how much I weigh but please don't try to figure it out <laughs> I'm five seven okay anyway anyway hmm. okay so uh, I wear a size 18 which means that they would have my size which is so exciting I can't even tell you because it is really hard to find clothes in a size 18 anywhere that I like shopping so that was exciting. And there was a dress that I fell in love with immediately. It had poppies all over it. Oh my god, poppies. Oh, summer dress, really, really cute. A-line a skirt, you know, boofs out, and a little halter top thing. I kind of got so into the halter top business, but I guess you could wear a little black cardigan and you'd be set. So that was um, very exciting, and I love that. 
the uh, they didn't have shoes they had some Betty Page stuff like um, some refrigerator magnets and some um, like little uh, boxes that you could put um, cosmetics or you know cigarettes maybe in or something um, and uh, some little odds and ends hair flowers a little bit of jewelry but it was mostly dresses and skirts and tops and they were all in in the you know probably zero to two four XL or whatever which is just so wonderful and amazing and the people were extremely friendly but not overly like on glomming onto you which I really hate and they were very very helpful they moved things aside so that I could get through in my chair they didn't treat me like I was going to shoplift which I always appreciate um, I sometimes think that if you look different, people sort of assume that you're going to be, or you have tattoos, people sort of assume that you're going to be a shoplifter or something, and um, that's why I said that. Uh, I've had trouble in the past um, with that kind of mentality in like really nice stores. Um, not so much anymore because tattoos are much more acceptable than they used to be, but um, 30 two years ago when I got my first tattoos they were very unacceptable on women and um, yeah it was different so I very much enjoyed my time there at um, Betty Page and I did go into a couple of other places which I'm not gonna review because I didn't bring I didn't get their business cards and I don't remember the names of the shops so um, I'll have to go back and do reviews of them and um, you know the vintage look is really fun and I always think of it as something that um, goth girls can do quite easily and I don't see any um, clash or problem with kind of being on the edge of both um, I rather do that myself sometimes and um, you know it's fun to, to be a little bit more unusual, maybe, you know, that retro goth look, maybe that'll be a look, a style or something. Maybe there is a retro goth thing already and I just don't know about it. That's possible. Okay, so that was um, Betty Page. The store that I went out there mostly to go to was, of course, Loved to Death. Now, they don't allow any photography or um, video in their store at all because um, there's a show that I guess takes, um, it is about their store, I'm assuming. I have not seen it. I haven't um, looked up anything on their website. All I did was go to the store. I wanted to review the store and um, that's my intention here. And I have to say that it was very exciting going in there. There were some really nifty um, objects that one could get quite enamored of. Um, a lot of it was quite drool-worthy and uh, I saw a lot of things that I would have gladly taken home with me and and they have um, various price points so there's things that are really expensive in the hundreds of dollars and there's things that are less and I did actually manage to go home with something um, they have uh, little trinkets uh, <laughs> trinkets well things like um, matches big match books, um, match boxes that have different things on them. I think those are probably about three dollars. They have funeral signs that you put in the back window of your car when you're in a funeral, basically. It was like ten dollars. I saw some stereo views for eight 
and some old um, photographs for six and they had some bones and things like alligator feet and uh, baby blowfish dr like dried baby blowfish those were kind of cute um, and those weren't very much uh, I don't remember how much they were but they weren't a lot um, their morning jewelry I'm not sure all of it was mourning. There was a lot of hair, and of course hair is sometimes sentimental, not mourning, so um, I looked at all of the pieces. I didn't see anything amazingly exceptional that is coming to mind right now, but they had a good selection of um, mourning jewelry. Uh, and, and hair work, and they had a lot of just really wonderful little things, um, uh, just old boxes, and, and they had a lot of books, actually, that was um, really great. They had uh, art books that were rev relevant to that culture, and um, that was exciting to see. Uh, there's an upstairs as well, and um, they have some absinthe glasses and spoons for sale, uh, reproductions, and also some fountains. And upstairs um, there were some really beautiful prints by um, a wonderful artist whose name I wish I'd written down. Um, he does uh, work that kind of looks like old um, tattoo flash art, but his prints were selling for in the $65 range, and they were quite, quite lovely and printed on beautiful paper, really good prints, really worth getting and framing and owning. And then they had um, some other prints. Um, that were just really fascinating prints. Uh, they had some post-mortem photography. And they basically had a bit of everything. Um, their jewelry is quite interesting. Uh, little silver charms. Um, there was a Ouija board plushette necklace, which really got my eye. I love plushettes. Um, that's the little shaped um, you know, thing that, that's the thing that you put your fingers on that goes around the Ouija board. And, um, they had some um, jewelry that's made out of bones or teeth. Uh, there was a few starling rings that had teeth set into them, human teeth, which I thought was interesting. Um, most of the jewelry is quite expensive, but probably worth the expense. I ended up leaving with something um, I found. This box. Oh, there we go. You can see that. And then it opens and you have inside there's three compartments and the mirror and as is because um, there were cracks in the glass um, on the bottom and a little bit of fraying on this um, ribbon that you pull it open by um, it was $48 which I thought was good and I could afford it so I bought it I loved it um, I love boxes I have to think about boxes and the old print um, is just really enchanting of the maid bringing the, you know, the lady her morning um, hot chocolate probably, or tea maybe. So all in all, um, uh, oh, um, the staff at Love to Death were very friendly, very knowledgeable to a point and um, 
they seem to be quite interested in, in what it is that they're selling, so they're enthusiastic and um, very willing to help and ask, answer questions and, um, and all of that. And they don't, once again, bother you while you're shopping, but they will ask if you need some help and, you know, um, but not be hovering. I hate hovering shop people. I really, really do. So it was a great experience going in. Um, the second floor is up a flight of stairs, so it's about six or, or eight stairs, rather steep. Um, I can walk a bit, so I was able to get up there and, and stand and look around a little bit. But they do have pictures of everything that's upstairs for you if you cannot um, walk uh, and get up there. So um, they have taken the disabled into account on that score, which is great. So all in all, a very interesting place. I guess that's where the term oddities comes from. Um, because they had that term on the signboard that was outside, I think. And I heard Sebastian Columbine the other day use the term oddities, and I was wondering where that came from, um, because before you would have called these things curiosities, as in the Cabinet of Curiosities in the 18th century. Um, people used to collect, well, curiosities from all over the world and um, put them into little uh, little cabinets um, that had various little compartments um, and you would uh, you know be able to look at all these different very interesting things so um, I guess the new term is oddities and I hope that curiosities doesn't go away because it's a great term too so I guess my advice would be to um, go to the shop, it's worth going to, bring a few hundred dollars and uh, an open mind. It, it is rather um, what some people would consider morbid stuff, uh, but of course we consider it lovely. <laughs> and um, it's definitely worth a trip um, to see if you're in uh, the California, Northern California area. It's uh, definitely worth a trip to the city to check out, and if you're visiting, it's definitely worth a stop, and um, I don't know if I would come up to go there, but uh, maybe, maybe if I had that sort of money, um, but um, that's basically all I had to say about it, and I hope this has been interesting. Thank you for joining me for the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Bye-bye.